Let's take a look at evaluate and composite functions using the HP Prime graphing calculator. And let's take a look at this problem. Okay. f of x is equal to x squared minus 3. And g of x is equal to x minus 2. And we want to find composition of f and g, and uh, then we'll plug in 1 half for x. Now if I looked at this by hand, first off, let's look at the composition of f and g. That's f of g. That's going to become important, that notation there, um, because this right here we could rewrite as f of g, and then we're plugging in 1 half for x. So, um, please remember this notation here is similar to this. <clears throat> Just shorthand notation, you don't put the x in there like that. But we could, and then it looks like this. Uh, keep that in mind, we'll come back to that. Okay, well, let's find our composition first. We're going to take our g of x and put that in for the x. So we're going to have x minus 2 squared minus 3, which gives us x minus 2 times x minus 2 minus 3 which gives us x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 3 or x squared minus 4x plus 1 and then we'll plug uh, 1 half in for the x so we would have 1 half squared minus 4 times 1 half plus 1 that gives us 1 fourth minus 2 plus 1, which gives us 1 fourth minus 1. Uh, this is a mixed number. You take negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, so we get negative 3 fourths. You could also, at this point up here, plug in 1 half um, right here, and you would have got the same answer. So there's two different ways of working that uh, if you're doing it by hand. Um, here you would have got 1. Uh, Let's see, 1 half minus uh, 2, which will give you negative 3 halves. Let me show it. Okay, so you'd have uh, 1 half minus 2 squared minus 3. Um, now this is a mixed number, so that negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3. So you got negative 3 halves minus 3, which gives us 9 fourths minus 3. And again, a mixed number, I take negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 plus 9 is, what is that, negative 3? So we get negative 3 fourths. Two different ways you can approach that by hand. Well, let's see how to do it on HP Prime. And um, I'm under the apps here. If you're not, then press your apps and you'll get here. Uh, we'll go into function. Um, so if it's not highlighted, then use your arrow keys to highlight it and then press enter. I'm going to do my back backspace get rid of that. I'll put my f of x on uh, f1. So that's going to be x squared minus 3, enter. And on f2, I'll put my g of x. So I'll have x minus 2, enter. Okay, let's think what I just said. This is going to be f1, and i put this on f2. Which means that this right here, if I were to replace the f, it would be replaced with f1. If I were to replace the g, I would replace it with f2. And then you'd have one half there. So that's the way it would look. And that's how we'll actually plug it in. So I want to um, go home. So I press home. Now I got those entered. So keep that in mind. Press our vars. Uh, we'll cho choose one for function, or you can just press your right arrow key. The way. If I come down to symbolic, you see you got uh, F0 through F7. Uh, first thing we want to do is F1, which is has the 1 right above it and to the left. So I press 1, and I'll do my parentheses, and now we want to choose F2. So I'll go back to VARS, choose function, press 1 for function, press 2 for symbolic, and then I'll press 2 for F2. Okay, I'm starting to look uh, close, and then I'll do parentheses. And then I'll do 1 divided by 2. And you see that looks like our notation here, doesn't it? So the neat part about the HP Prime in terms of um, 
uh, evaluate and composite functions is you just type in it exactly as you'd expect in, in regular algebra. So you press um, enter and we get this. Now again, to change anything that's in decimal form to fraction on this calculator, you press your fraction button. It's A and then B over C. When I do that, I get uh, negative 3 fourths. If you had a mixed number form, remember you can keep pressing this over and over to alternate back and forth between the different different forms. This is just um, negative 3 fourths. But that's how you evaluate composite functions on a HP prime uh, graphing calculator.